Matt Weintraub, Bucks County District Attorney. I'm here to make a, an announcement about a significant development in the investigation that you've all been following so patiently, so diligently. We have found human remains in an approximately 12 and a half foot deep common grave that we have painstakingly dug with a lot of care so as not to damage any potential evidence. And I'm very, very sad to say that we can now identify Dean Pinocchiaro, 19 years old of Middletown, as one of the people that was found buried in that grave. He's been missing since Friday. We notified his family that we have recovered his body. There are additional human remains inside that grave. So this painstaking process will go on. We're not done yet. This is a homicide, make no mistake about it. Just don't know how many homicides we are yet to know the answer to that question. And I want to let you know that we reiterate over and over again, and it goes to say one more time to the families that we're strong. We're going to remain strong. We're going to see this investigation to the end to bring each and every one of these lost boys home to their families one way or another. We will not rest until we do that. I will take a few questions. Do you have Matt, Matt, were these guys, do you have enough were these guys shot? Now? I can't comment on uh, the type of homicide that it is at this point, but I am comfortable classifying as a homicide, Dan. Do you have enough to file homicide charges now, at least for the one victim so far? That is something that we're going to look at uh, very, very closely. I feel that we bought ourselves a little bit of time in charging uh, Mr. DiNardo with the stolen car case today and getting that $5 million bail. Uh, it is my hope that he does not post that, but that's his prerogative, of course, if he can post it. But we're going to start looking seriously at the homicide charges, and in fact, we already have uh, pursued that option. Do you suspect there's additional Yes. Um, I'm sorry. No, I misunderstood. Not at this time. Can you explain the nation where the remains at? I don't want to comment on that, but you can draw some logical conclusions. They were found inside a 12 and a half foot deep hole that we had to excavate. That's a pretty big hole. Do you think that this is something one person did, or do you think there might be other people involved in this? I really can't say. We're still examining the evidence. The investigation, as you all know, has taken two tracks. It's been about recovery on one side and about ascertaining what actually occurred on the other side. And we're still uh, avidly pursuing both of those uh, avenues You said time. today you found evidence in two places. Can you now tell us a little bit more about that evidence? No, because that part of the investigation is uh, very much alive. As I said before, all the leads that we've been pursuing are hot. They remain so, and this is uh, verified proof of that. I'll take one more question. What led you to that grave? Was it dug up? Is the dog sleeping there? We had uh, cadaver dogs, and I don't understand the science behind it, but those dogs could smell these poor boys 12 and a half feet below the ground. All right, thank you all very much. I'll see you thank at you. 11 o'clock. Have a good night.